I've got a queen joining me today. It is Samantha Pauly from Broadway 6. Let's bring her in. Hey, Sam. Thanks for joining me. For having me. So I think we can all agree a three is interviewing a 10 right now. Oh my God, no, stop. No, absolutely not. You're too kind. You're too kind. Do you have a daily routine or is it kind of just like wake up and see where the day takes you? It's usually a little bit of both. Um, I don't set an alarm. I just sleep until whenever, um, which is usually not that late. It's usually maybe like nine or 10. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm trying to work out every day still, or at least do something to keep moving and stay active. But now I'm kind of getting to that point where like at home workouts are just not my thing <laughs> and I'm just dying to go out somewhere um but I'll try and work out um I've been doing my song a day on Instagram which I try and put out at the same time every day so that between like waking up working out eating some food and then like doing this song that kind of like gives me a schedule for most of the afternoon a schedule um and then I just kind of hang out for the rest of the day but doing at least that much has kind of kept me very sane to like have some kind of schedule mm -hmm. uh, because it, even in the first couple days of quarantine when I was just sitting around with my thoughts like what am I going to do every day I can't go anywhere what am I going to do that like so I was like I got to do something I got to figure out something to do but that's kind of been my routine if you want to call it that <laughs> when this all first started i thought okay i'm gonna deep clean each room in my apartment i don't have that many rooms so after <laughs> that i was like what am i doing now yeah i came back when i came back from chicago my husband wasn't here he was at his parents house in iowa and i came home and i was like oh, okay cool i'm gonna unpack tomorrow and then the day after that i'll like organize this room in the basement and then maybe i'll reorganize this room and the very next day, I drove home all in one day, and I got home at like 8 p.m., and by maybe 4 o'clock the next afternoon, I had done all of those things. It was like, done. Yes. <laughs> Let me ask you about the song a day, because you started doing that. Like, what inspired you to start that? I, d I you know what? I really don't know. I... I honestly now can't remember what spurred it, but I, I was just sitting around one night and I was like, maybe I'll just like sing some stuff on Instagram to like stay engaged with people and, and, you know, get requests from fans and then they can feel like they are, you know, talking with me or, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and I did not have a plan for it to be going this long, mostly because nobody knew how long we were going right. to be in quarantine. Um, but once I started going, I thought I was going to stop after 30 days, but I was like, I'm just going to keep going. Like, what else do I have to do? Um, and it's also kind of nice because, you know, for the last year, I've kind of only been singing six stuff. So this is kind of cool to like learn new things or revisit things that I've liked to sing in the past. So it's been fun. <laughs> so I saw the, the global um, like over th a thousand queens singing together. Get your hands up, get this party buzzing. You want a queen be? Well, there's half a dozen. Everybody knows that we used to be six to one. Been in touch with your castmates at all? Yes, we talk almost every day. Um, and even if it's been a couple days since we've talked, like this morning, um, Adriana, we have a group WhatsApp chat. Um, and this morning, Adriana just texted everybody and said, hey, just checking in. Want to make sure everybody's doing okay. How's everyone feeling? Um, so if it's not regular, if it's been a couple days, there's at least one of us that's like, we're eh, just going to see how everybody's doing. Um, but we also do, you know, like group face chat, uh, FaceTimes and, and stuff like that. So we're still we're still all talking all the time. I've been into listening to early 2000, late 90s music. So what have you been? Oh, yeah. A day. What have you been listening to? 
Um, I, you know what? It's funny that you say that because I, I don't remember why. I think there was a day that I was like, I was trying to make myself work out and I was revisiting like old music videos on YouTube. Uh And so I just went through on Spotify and I just made uh, a late nineties, early two thousands playlist of like every awesome song that I could remember. I made um, an R and B hip hop one from like late nineties, early two thousands. And then I have like an emo alt rock playlist so it's been fun to like revisit all of this old not old stuff, but stuff that like you listen to in junior high that you're like, this is everything that I'm feeling, and you feel so yes. deep for it. Yes, they understand me. <laughs> so I've just made like endless playlists on Spotify of all that stuff too. Um, I don't. I'm not good at keeping up with like current stuff that's on the radio. I don't really listen to the radio, but revisiting all of that stuff has been really fun. (laughs) What do you think Katherine Howard would be doing throughout all of this? Ooh, you know what? I kind of feel like she might be doing a lot of what I've been doing. She was, um, she was very into music and dancing and she was able to read. So she really liked reading. Um, and she also really loved animals, which I feel like are four things that I'm just doing all the time in my house anyway. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but she'd probably be doing pretty much the same stuff that I'm doing. It's like dancing around like an idiot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Frozen. Yeah, you're frozen too. Can you still hear me? Uh-oh, Chanel. Can you hear me? What's the first thing you want to do when everything goes back to normal again? Um, I two things and it's probably a tie. I definitely want to go back to the gym because I'm just, it's driving me nuts. Um, but I also, my, one of my favorite things in the summertime is to just like sit on a patio for lunch or dinner with like friends Mm -hmm. and hang out. Those, those two things for sure are the first, if things do go back to normal, you know, whatever that is, or if things go back to normal, um, go back to my job. What would you say to people who are missing Broadway right now? When we do come back, I hope that people will know how how important it is for their support and how much we depend on audiences because, you know, there's already shows that have announced that they won't be coming back and that was after being gone for a month or two. Um, So it's very clear how much we need supportive audiences that that support live theater and are excited to come um and know that we will be back but when we do come back we're gonna need everybody you know as long as it's safe and everybody feels safe to really to really be excited and and come ready to support all the shows of course well sam thank you so much for joining me today um, happy stay safe, stay healthy, and be well, and hopefully we will see you back on Broadway sooner rather than later. I hope so. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.